and welcome, 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 welcome one and all to another episode, another installation, another issue of Command Your Morning. And we just want to thank God. You know, usually as I say, you know, thank God that it is Friday. Thank God that another week, you have seen us through another week. And you know, in all seriousness, we just want to continue to give God thanks. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of Command Your Morning. Thank you for being a part of TIN. In the name of Jesus, your, 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 your labor of love, your dedication to, to this station, the dedication to our daily prayer, your dedication to God, your yielding and drawing nigh unto God shall never, ever, ever be in vain. I am um, with you this morning, Minister Ted Jones, and, and we come, of course, this morning from, from the Victory Outreach Church, the powerhouse of God, and we really want to thank God for you. We want to thank God for you listening in. We want to thank God you know, personally, for even the opportunity to be here, to be in your homes this morning, being in your lives this morning. And this morning, you would find that I am just feeling so, or, or sounding so grateful, sounding so happy. And that's because, indeed, God has been good. God has been good to you, and God has been good to me. And God continues to be good. And I'm not talking now as a cliche because sometimes as Christians, we have, we have sometimes replaced the genuine uh, feeling of, 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 of emotion sometimes to just cliched statements, you know, like I'm blessed and highly favored and that kind of thing. But I'm talking about coming back to the reality that you are indeed blessed and highly favored. Coming back to the reality that you are the healed of the Lord, that the healing is your, the children's bread, that, 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 that God himself seeks to prosper you and to lift you up, that those things are in fact not cliches, but they are real. They are the real state of being that 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 you exist in. The 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 benefits of your citizenry in Christ is in fact, hallelujah. Right? Those things that I just mentioned and, and what is in the word of God concerning you, your benefits, all of those things are in fact real. They are not cliches. They are not just something we say. They are not just something that we, we, we say to sound Christian, to sound holy. No, those are our real beings. Those are, those are the real things we hold on for when our backs seem to be against the wall. And brothers and sisters, this morning as you listen, I really kind of want you to, to, to help me look at things a little bit, how to put it differently this morning. I want us to look at things a little bit um. I, I want to find the word, but I want us to look at things maybe a little bit through God's eyes this morning concerning our own lives. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I want us to, 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 to deal this morning with, 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 with our life of gratitude, our life of thanksgiving, our life of, of, of of, of, of giving unto God what is his, a life of of recognizing that where we are, it is not by our own flesh and blood and our muscles and our intellect, but it is as a result of God. And if we, if we see things that way, then I am challenging all of us that if we can see things that way, then we shall flow a little bit more in gratitude. You know, the truth is, is that gratitude itself they, is a powerful process. The, what, what, whatever, you know, there, there is now a common knowledge, of course, that whatsoever things occupy our minds, those are the things we that track in life. Whatever the things that come to our minds, the things that, 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 that we dwell on, those are the things we attract. And if you think that that's just how these new people think, and that's new, new, new thinking, the Bible says that you shall have what you say. 
So the things that you keep saying, the things that we keep dwelling on, the things that we keep confessing with our mouth, those are the things, those are the, those, the, the messages that we, that we call out with our mouth. Those are the things that we'll attract. Right? Um, we have, of course, if, if you look at the news, if we look at that, that any news media, you realize that is heavily, heavily, heavily based on, on the things that have happened that are negative in our, in, in our societies, in our countries, right? Um, those are the negative things that get the headlines. So guess what? We think the negative things more. We think the, 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 the problems more. And as a result of that, we can see that even as we continue to think of these things more and more and more, then more and more of the negative things come. The more and more we say the negative things, is the more the negative things manifest. So as a result of that, what is it we're trying to say? What is God trying to tell us this morning? That method isn't working for us. That method has not been working for his people. That method isn't working for us in as much as we declare God and we make all those nice statements, cliches. The truth is, is that at the end of the day, we say things that are negative. We think things that are negative. We do not, right? We do not exhibit that spirit of gratitude. And as a result of that, you find yourself attracting things that are not gracious. Hallelujah. Right? Um, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, sorry, we think of, you know, even when you're driving, how, how grateful are people? You know, I remember that when you let out somebody off, you know, out of a out of a out of a street, right? They would tell you, they will toot their horn and say thank you or something. No, that no people no longer grateful, right? So so you pass. You let them out and, and they just pass without saying anything. They, they just pass you by. You, 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 you open a door for someone. Sometimes as a gentleman, you may open the door for a lady to get into a store. And she just brushes by, no thank you, no gratitude. Right? How many of us at the end of our, of our term actually go back to the teachers? who taught our children the last term and say, thank you for what you have done to my boy, what you have done for my girl. How much of the times we do that, right? How many times in the name of Jesus do we have our customers come into the store? And, and especially if we are the store clerk and, and, and we, we take their money and we give them their change, we put their change on the counter and, and, and they walk off. No thank you for patronizing us. No thank you for coming. And what about you, the customer? When the young lady or the young man comes to us and say, says, may I help you? What are you looking for? And you went, you know, do you say thank you so much for what you have done? You're doing a good job. I'm asking these things because we need to develop a prayer life, a life of gratitude. We need to understand that, you see, if we don't operate in gratitude, then we begin to think that we, that, 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 that we are somehow entitled to something that is of benefit beyond God's ability or God's desire to bless us. And, and, and that is not what God desires for us at all. That every good thing comes from, the Bible says that every good thing comes from God. So as a result of that, we need to know that if every good thing came from God, then we ourselves must stand in the knowledge that when good things come, we are grateful. And two things I want us to be grateful for. I want us to be grateful to the supplier. And that's almighty God. We have to be grateful to the supplier. But we also must be grateful to he who obeys the supplier and brings that which is good, which is beneficial to us. Right? So as a result of that, brothers and sisters out there, I really want to encourage us to, to, to live a life of gratitude. To live a life of gratitude. Um... Let's start sorting out our days with, with, with gratitude. And, and sometimes for some of us, we will need, of course, to be able to develop it from some kind of methodolic, methodological method 
or, 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 or form. Yeah, that's a bit of a tongue twister there. The thing is, is what are we going to do? Maybe it's time that in the morning we start writing down things that we are grateful for. Because some nights we have been, some nights can become so negative, or some nights we are so over, overwhelmed with the burdens of the day that we forget that, listen to me, that God is working in the midst. The fact that we actually are even being able to see and experience the trouble shows that God is working and sometimes we need to remind ourselves of that. Sometimes we need to look at the good stories of other people, the lives of other people, the blessings that God would have done in other people and say that, listen, I'm thanking God because look what you have done for brother this and brother that, consider this son. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I'm thanking you that you have the same interest in my son. You have the same interest in my daughter. You have the same interest in my husband. You have the same interest in my wife. And God, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to praise you. God, Lord, some, the truth is, is that when I, I, I do employ some people and I realize that your very first week or your very first fortnight is usually your best productive because you are so grateful that you have gotten a job. You are so grateful that you are, that you are working, that, that, that I am no longer at home, that, that I, I have a future, I can buy things. But then after the first paycheck and second paycheck, when other things start to come, then you're no longer as productive because you're no longer as grateful. You no longer, you, you begin to see problems and you begin to want to, to, to address problems and, and, and pull yourself back and, and, and take offense and, and be frustrated because you're no longer as grateful as you were when you just got the job. And the thing is, is that the Bible says, stay faithful. Stay faithful. So try your best also to include gratitude in your everyday language. Make a conscious effort to say thank you. Make a conscious effort to, if you didn't recognize that say, people no, no longer saying thank you on the road, maybe the reason why you didn't recognize that is because maybe I or you are the ones that are not saying thank you. As a result of that, I want to ask you to remember to make gratitude a part of your daily vocabulary in Jesus' name. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, um, Psalm 100 speaks about shouting for joy, making um, a grateful, I, 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 I would be grateful, I would, I would shout for joy and gratitude in, in grace, in, in, in um. Oh, oh let, let me just find it so that so I so I don't misquote it. But what I'm saying is is that it's a very short. It's, I think it's about five, five um. Five five verses. Is it five, five or six? Oh yes, shout. For joy to the Lord, all the earth, worship the Lord with gladness. Right, come before Him with joyful songs. Ah, be joyful, be joyful. The Bible said, know that the Lord is God. And listen, when the Bible says to us to know that the Lord is God, what the, what, what the word is actually telling us is to, is to be aware, to have inside of your knower that Lord God is God. Your problems is not God. Our problems don't make, no matter how big they are, they are still not God. Jehovah, our Lord is God. And once you know that, then you know you can start asking and thanking God. And that's what we want to do this morning. I just want to dedicate this morning to thanking God. I want us to just dedicate this morning to to praising God. The Bible says, when it goes on to, 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 to verse 4, it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. In the name of Jesus, we just want to, we just want to enter right now into thanksgiving. We want to, to be grateful, gracious unto you. God, Lord, we want to praise your name. We want to lift you up. We want to call you great. God, Lord, we declare that there's nothing that we have. 
There's nothing that we have that you didn't give us. If you are right now and you're hearing us, and I know you might be trying to get the day started, but spend some time, help me. Join with me this morning and let us just give God thanks because that's what we're going to be doing this morning. We not, this morning is not a morning to ask him too much for your needs because the Bible already says in the book of Matthew that he knows what you have need of. He already knows what you have need of. So it's not that you need to bombard him like if, well, for one, it's either he don't know or he deaf or he does forget. None of those are attributes of God. So let us, let us now, in the name of Jesus, praise you. We glorify you. God, Lord, we lift you up. God, Lord, you have been good to me. God, Lord, you have been good to my family. God, Lord, you have, to, you have been good to my nation. God, Lord, you have been good to Tobago. You have been good to your people. Yes, 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 Lord, my eyes are talented. My eyes can see the problems. Yes, my eyes are talented. They can see the, that the road down my me not fixed yet. My ears are talented. Yes, 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 Lord. I know. I, I can hear the bad news. I can hear who is not doing what and who is corrupt. I can hear all that. But in the name of Jesus, I declare right now that you how God Lord have kept me in a good place and that is true too God Lord as a matter of fact that is the most truth and I thank you Lord I thank you Lord we thank you this morning we thank you that guess what none of us are right now in jail right now because we are declaring the word of God thank you Thank you that none of us have been arrested right now and are hiding right now on account of serving you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that no one in the name of Jesus will take a gun and have to shoot us for declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for stable government. Thank you in the name of Jesus that even though I may have gone to the doctor or you may have gone to the doctor and, 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 your, and your, your, your numbers aren't quite right. Thank you in the name of Jesus that you still have the ability to heal. Thank you in the name of Jesus that I can still hear, that I can still see, that I can still smell. I thank you that you have protected my family. Today is, is, is the 16th of September in the name of Jesus. And guess what? You have kept us. The ones that are alive, you have kept us to this point. You have protected us on the road. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that we could have gotten bounced down. Thank you that for no reason whatsoever, somebody could have run into our back on the road. Thank you. And for those of us who may have had somebody hit us, that the truth is, is that the accident was not worse. Thank you that we, are, we, are, that we, have, that we have been protected. God, Lord, we really want to thank you. We want to thank you that if we are willing and obedient according to your word, we will eat the good of the land. We want to thank you for your word, almighty God. We want to thank you mainly right now for your son, Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for his salvation, for his sacrifice we want to thank you that through his sacrifice in the name of Jesus we have life and we have it eternally we want to thank you that he lived and even in his living in the name of Jesus he gave us examples he gave us empowerment we want to thank you oh heavenly father for Jesus Christ we want to thank you that we have been given a model of how to live we have been given assurance of 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 of, of resurrection and we have been given the the confidence of eternal life god lord we want to thank you God, we want to thank you for our children. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus that they are like arrows in the hand of the skillful man. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus that, that, that our children have the solutions for tomorrow's problems and even for some of today's problems. We thank you in the name of Jesus that you have given, that, that you, God, you have chosen to give us these children as parents, that you had enough confidence in us to be able to bless us with our children. God, Lord, we want to thank you, Almighty God. We want to thank you so much. 
for, for, for their teachers. We want to thank you in the name of Jesus for the people that have been imparting um, information and knowledge into their lives. People of God, people of God, we, we, we are so grateful this morning. God, Lord, I'm grateful to, to the people that are actually even listening right now in the name of Jesus. I am grateful for what you are doing in their lives. I'm thanking you, oh God, Lord, for what you're doing in my lives. God, Lord, thank you because your word says that daily you load us with benefits. God, Lord, your word says that, it, that, that you have our, 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 our names written in the palm of your hands. God, Lord, we thank you because you have said that just as the mountains are about Jerusalem, protecting Jerusalem, shading per Jerusalem, covering Jerusalem, God, Lord, making the path to Jerusalem treacherous for those who are enemies of Jerusalem. God, Lord, so you are among your people. God, Lord, we want to thank you that you, the enemies of our lives will not have a way with us in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you that the people that you identify right now as those that are willing to stand against us shall utterly fall for our sake. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that that enemy that comes towards us in the name of Jesus with a force be because of our lives in you will depart from us in seven ways. God, Lord, for them to depart from us in seven ways means that they'll be departing for us. They would have come united. But they will leave divided. They shall leave confused. They shall leave in a mess. God, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, for for, for, for Trinidad and Tobago. We thank you for this land. We thank you for the 54 years of independence. We thank you for the life that Trinidad and Tobago had even before independence. We thank you, God, Lord, that we were able to receive independence. God, Lord, we thank you that, 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 that we have become Republican in terms of the state. We have thank you that we have had stable government. We have thank you that every, every attack against Trinidad and Tobago has been foiled on account of your name in the name of of Jesus. We thank you in the name of Jesus that, that we can live in, in harmony and peace. We thank you in the name of Jesus that our, that our institutions are there. And we thank you in the name of Jesus that your heart for those institutions is that they perform optimally that they perform with power, that they perform with release. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for families. We want to thank you, hallelujah, for where we are at, where we are. Sometimes you want to hear so much stories about, about what families are doing. But God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, this morning, as I said, we are not about um, seeing and, 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 and harping on all the negatives that our, that our eyes are able to see and ears are able to hear. But we are so thankful, God, for, for what you have been able to do, where you have placed us. Our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters. God, Lord, our uncles, our aunts. God, Lord, we thank you. To not thank you is to indict you and to tell you, Lord, that you have made a mistake with where you have placed us. And God, Lord, it is not so. We are grateful, we are thankful for what you have been doing in our lives. We are thankful, Almighty God, for our, for our children. God, Lord, sometimes, I mean, for every good parent, you would want to expect that our children will do better. You will want, we will want to push our children, Lord, and, and, and that, I think, is part of parenting. But God, Lord, we want to thank you for where they are now. We want to thank you that they are well, they are healthy. We want to thank you that even if any of them are diagnosed with anything, that there is confidence in healing. And not only confidence in healing, but confidence in you. 
that they are protected. We want to thank you that out of a life of mess, a life of failure, you called us unto yourself. God, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, we are eternally grateful for salvation. We thank you that we were walking in mess. We were walking in failure. We were walking in sin. We were walking in destruction. We were walking to one step forward and three steps back. We were walking not knowing where we were going. We were walking full of intelligence but foolish as crazy. We were walking in the name of Jesus feeling that we were all it when we were not God Lord we were walking thinking that we had our lives put together when the truth is, is that the devil had another plan and the devil was winning but God Lord we thank you that you came and rescued us God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we could have been operating in abject failure. We could have been operating as a bandit. We could have been operating with guns. We could have been operating with drugs. We could have been operating in, in alternative lifestyles. We could have been operating uh, in, 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 in judgment. But God, Lord, you came, and it's because of you, we live a life of peace. We live a life of hope. We live a life of, 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 of elevation, of protection. God, Lord, it's because of you. It is because of you, O Heavenly Father. And God, Lord, be grateful. And God, Lord, we declare right now that because we are truly grateful that it is not our own action, but that which you have done, we, God, Lord, forgive us for being judgmental of other people who may not have had our experiences, may not have had the experience we have had with you. Because if we had their experience, we may have been doing what they are doing and worse. God, Lord, forgive us for being so uppity and so self-righteous that we are so ready to, to judge other people. God, Lord, judgment is a fundamental um, symptom of, 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 of ingratitude. God, Lord, we want to ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive us, oh God, Lord, and help us to walk in gratitude. Help us to be able to see the things you have said. God, Lord, uh, whose report? Whose report? God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are just grateful. And God, Lord, even if we are the victims right in front of an accident where somebody bunks us, we still can say thank you, Lord, that we are not the one that bunks the people. If somebody broke into our house, we could still say thank you, Lord. That we are not the thief, the one that broke in. <laughs> God, Lord, we have so much things we can thank you for. God, Lord, if, if you're not walking, you can say, well, thank you, Jesus, that my hands are working. As a matter of fact, if nothing is working and you can still thank you, Jesus, that you can thank Jesus, then that's enough to give Jesus thanks for. God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you so much. And God, Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name.